Watford took a step back to take a step forward. Kike Sanchez Flores oversaw their first season back in the Premier League. He is charged now with steering them safely through a fifth such campaign. The Gunners, given their ferocious firepower, are a tough one to crack first up, Jim Beglin. They are, and they have a good record here overall. Um, and I'm sure they'll be looking to try and disrupt the Kika Sanchez Flores re return and the impact that he's hoping to make. And it looks like they've gone with Ozil playing in the centre behind Aubameyang and Pepe obviously from the right hand side. And Ceballos is going to take up a position on the left. 4 2 3 1, obviously, Ganduzi and Xhaka sitting a bit deeper in midfield. Jacore. Taylor Feu, Holabas outside of him. Taylor Feu's made a yard. And then Leno gathered it a shade untidily. Yeah, well, there was no trust from Leno Ganduzi because he just felt that he wasn't going to stop him getting it on his right foot and he was prepared for it, Leno. Cleverly. It's Tom Cleverly! It's a very good save from Bert Leno. I think it's a fantastic piece of football all round. It's really good by Will Hughes to start with the way he was able to hold it up and Caput to take it on, but they backed off and he realised that cleverly. The perfect option he chose and what a save to match it. Leno at his very best, crack and save. And by Holobas. Partially out by Kolasinac. Set back by Taylor Feu. Tom Cleverly. Oh, no, it up. Yeah, the first one was, was smacked with the laces. The second one, he's looking for placement. So he's gone with the inside of his foot and he's trying to bend it into the top corner away from Leno. But it is a good start from Watford. Very encouraging. Hughes. Smartly away from Genduzzi. Great ball. Hit early by Kapu. It's a smashing pass. Taylor Feu. Beyond Maitland Niles. Holobas! Well, again, when it's fed to Holobas, he's looked for placement. And he's got it wrong. Again, I think if you try and get your knee over the ball and smack it with the laces, you're probably going to keep it down and on target. But um, he's having some joy, isn't he, Delafeo? He's a threat and he's causing Arsenal problems. Nice little setup, and he should be keeping that on target at least. The Greek. So that was a casual pass, which Kenduzi made good. And now Pepe can hit his stride with a Bamiang off the long side and Ozil getting forward. It's Pepe! It's a goal kick. Yeah, I think he, he felt there was maybe a slight glance as Watford tried to get the numbers back, but I think he'd made his mind up, just ignored the run by Obama Yang and thought, go for it. Nah, it doesn't seem to have made any contact at all. Hughes ran into traffic, referee let it go, and Kolasinac is on his way, and he's fed Obama Yang, who scores. He is hot. One chance, one goal. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who won the game on this ground last year for Arsenal, has established a lead for them in Hertfordshire again. He loves Sundays. He absolutely loves Sundays, but this is just pure quality from Aubameyang. W once it's fed to him, and of course Will Hughes is still complaining about the fact that he felt that he was fouled by Ceballos, but they're able to take it on through Kolasinac, and once he fed, Cabasele is a little slow getting across and he's beating the ground in frustration at that but the finish from Aubameyang is just outstanding that's why he wants to play the central role and not Lacazette that's just superb and whilst Watford were complaining about the manner in which Arsenal originally won the ball the uh, VAR check is now complete nothing untoward about uh, the challenge from Ceballos Here's Pepe. Kolasinac! And threw his frame at it, but this time didn't make contact. And away to Ceballos, who's rolled in Mesut Ozil. 
Aubameyang. Yeah. The Foster intervened. The touch from Cabasele did just enough to prevent Aubameyang coming in from the far side. That was crucial. Wasn't that far away either. I mean, he saw Ben Foster coming, and I think he thought it could be a, a coming together. Avoided it. Shaka. Ursel. Maitland Niles. Aubameyang! Just keeps on doing it. Does this become an Arsenal stroll in the Hertfordshire sunshine? Well, it's it's all about Ozil, isn't it? Because he gets into the little pocket of space and waits for the run. And Dawson has kept Maitland-Niles onside. And then by the time Maitland-Niles is feeding it across the six-yard box, he can't make up the ground on a Bamingang who's just stolen a march on him. And it's a tap-in for him, and that's a, a cracking goal. And whereas Maitland-Niles might have seen the start sluggishly, he was looking lively then. Familia. He's got a bit of it. Steal it wide. Yeah, he would have preferred it on his left, but didn't make the connection he would have liked. And I suppose Watford will be reflecting back on the fact that if Cleverleys had gone in and Leno hadn't made the save, you know, it could have swayed it. But as it stands, it just looks as if Arsenal have the better footballers. Well, Ganduzi got into trouble, cleverly found Dale Feu. Leno got in the way, and Gray chased it into the side netting. Well, he was on a high, wasn't he, with the performance he put in the North London derby, Ganduzi, but how much time do you want when you know you're, you're going to be closed down because Watford are onto it? And Dele Feu has done particularly well again. It's Holabas, he went for goal. Actually, in the end, it was a very comfortable catch for Leno. Yeah, it was. Maybe asking an awful lot of himself then, all of us. Kapu, all of us. Delefeu, away from Genduzi, in for Hughes. And high into the rookery end, behind Leno's goal. Yeah, and... Oh, Socrates has given it away, and Cleverly has scored! <laughs> Watford gifted an interest in the game. They prayed for a moment like that, and Socrates answered that prayer. Well, look, we highlighted in the first half about the risks that Arsenal were prepared to take at times, and it just seems absolutely daft. And Socrates is just nowhere near alert enough in, in delivering that out to Ganduzi. That's the target. Delefeo has done that repeatedly. And to his credit, he's there again. He's sharp, he's onto it, he's read it. And once it did fall to Cleverly, having just blasted one high and way wide, he just needed to keep that low and hard. And Socrates gets the punishment he deserves. Cleverly. Dale Feu, teasing Maitland Niles. Dale Feu finds the gloves of Leno. Yeah, the game changer. To Corey. Dale Feu. Dale Feu! If he gets up, Watford can follow him up. Well, he's had a fine game. I've just enjoyed watching him today, but, and he's given Maitland-Niles all sorts of problems, and this was a fizzer. Cleverly. Rolled in for Saar, set back for Decore, moved on for Femenia. Femenia! Always rising. Well, I think he, he, again, got the right option. Why not get the strike away, then flick something across the box? And, you know, he's just got underneath it slightly. Good hit. And so! Well, it was almost a Bamiyang-like. 
with the quickness of the turn and the first touch. The second touch obviously was just the problem one when he's just dragged it. But that just gives you an indication as to what he can do in that central position too. Lovely first touch. To Kore. Femenia. Pereira. Tasty little effort. The skill was was too good really to read. But the crowd are really behind Watford now and they just keep on pouring forward and and Arsenal are all of a sudden looking a bit shaky themselves defensively. Here's Pepe. And there is Reese Nelson. Foster's behind it. Yeah, well, he hit it well, but the problem was he hit it right down the middle, and you're expecting the goalkeeper to get behind that. But I think it was a lovely pick out from Pepe because he had to get the right way to pass, and he did. Pereira. Taylor Feu. Got the goal, but Leno's wise to that. I think that was probably a little greedy. He is expecting an awful lot then. And he should be looking for the head of Saar. And by Holopas. Saar was competing. Aubameyang brings it away. Nelson couldn't bring it with him. To Corey. Saar. It came to Cavasele. It still might. Nelson eventually got bodies around it. Willock. Torreira. Pepe, lovely feet. Cavasele in the way. Torreira thumped out by Foster. Unorthodox, but it did the job. Cleverly. De La Feu. Cleverly. To Corre. Pereira. Arsenal are stretched here. Jan Mats outside of him. Pereira over Luis. Penalty. Yeah, they're trying to say outside the box, Arsenal, but. Well, Val will check it. Yeah, Anthony Taylor seemed pretty sure, and he was right on top of it. Well, what a what a burst of play! I mean, Torreira had an opportunity, and then Watford broke straight on the back of that, and oh, looked inside. I think the referee has got that spot on. Yeah, I mean, I think people were urging him to shoot, but cleverly he went inside, and it's hard to ignore that. Roberto Pereira. Watford salvage it from the depths! If nothing else, that says something about the Hornet spirit. Apparently done for. They weren't having it. 2-2, two, two, 10 to play. Well, it's been a different environment, second half, and Watford have taken over this game. And this is just very cool and calm. He made his mind up, he wasn't going to change, and made easier by the fact that Leno guessed wrong. And what a response he's managed to get out of this lot. De La Feu, cleverly. De La Feu, space ahead of Abdoulaye Ducore. Daryl Yanmat, Pereira couldn't get it, cleverly has. And Gerard De La Feu is in within, within inches of giving Watford a lead. And Arsenal are so fortunate that they're not now having to chase a game that they look really comfortable in at half-time. And once this did find its way to De La Feu, he's just gone for that extra little bit of power and maybe just didn't get the control because of that. But it's a smidgen away. That has been Torreira's principal job. To, to give Maitland-Niles some support and help deter De La Feu. To Corre, lovely feet. Abdullah to Corre. And cleverly got a deflection, which possibly kept it from rippling the net. David Luiz is here. That's done enough. Because cleverly, you can see from his reaction, he knew he caught this plum. And I don't think Leno was going to get anywhere near that, and he knows full well. Flores... That wins it there, really. Kolasinac follows it up. And not much Pereira. Nelson. Bullied off it by Decore. 
who's on his way now with Saar wide of him. And he's found this mile of Saar. Saar for Dukure and Leno saves. What a save, what a move. And Dukure, I think, has seen his name on that the back page already tomorrow because he's had a few attempts which haven't worked and that time he thought he'd, he'd done, done it. Oh, what a move, what a run from, from De Kure, having won it initially. And then this is just lovely work, the footwork here, take it inside and then slip it back out again. And then can you get on the end of it? Yeah, you can. What a good save that is, what good positioning. Oh, Arsenal, I think, might end up relieved to take a point. Dawson wins his header, the four minutes are just about up. What a terrific contest and what a terrific start at Watford for Kike Sanchez Flores in his second coming. They remain bottom of the Premier League, but if they continue to play as they did in the second half here, they won't remain there for long. Aubameyang with two first-half goals for Arsenal, who seemed in control, but cleverly pounced on an error to bring Watford back into it. And then Pereira both won and converted a penalty. And Watford snatch a point. It finishes a thrilling afternoon at Vicarage Road with a final score reading Watford 2, Arsenal 2.